lovelies this is my bright green with a defined blue crease look um as you can see there it's very bright um i've got bright blusher and bright lips as well um just because i felt like being a bit electric today i'm not quite sure why um but yeah, so that's my look. Um, I will have a list of all the products used on the sidebar. I think that's right. Um, yeah, I did the look to match my nails, which I did last night. Because I'm that cool. Um, and yeah, um, again, any requests for looks, please post them on my YouTube um, account. And that's it. So here's how I did the look. So the first step for the green eyes with the blue crease is we're going to use a sort of lime green eyeshadow and I'm using this one here it actually came through with a magazine so I'm not sure what the brand is but um, Barry M do like a lime green which would work um, I just don't have that one on me at the moment so I'm using this so we're going to get a small brush which I'm actually using my crease brush which is the H&M one I'm just going to pack that into the first half And obviously I've already primed with Urban Decay Primer Potion on both the top and the bottom. Alright, then we're going to go with this brush here, which is like a sort of quite rounded one. And we're going to go for number 17's Green Glimmer, which is that one there. It's kind of like a pesto-y sort of colour. That's going to go on the outer half. And yes, by the way, I do know I look a bit like a poodle. My, um, I curled my hair last night. Like, I put it in, um, these sort of rollery things. And it leaves out later on, but I just end up looking like a poodle for the first half of the day. So once we've got that on, because I sort of found it quite dark, um, and not bright enough for this look... I then went over it with Stargazer's Bright Green, which, as I mentioned, I think with my pink one, I'm not sure whether I put that video up, but I've got a pink one as well, and I sort of dropped it and it shattered, so I put it in a little travel pot, which it still works the same. So that just went over the top, and I found it just gave it that nice little bright edge. I've got a bit of a cough at the moment. Right, then we're going to go with the crease brush, which is the H&M one there. And we're going to go for this sort of electric blue. And this is by Go Cosmetics, and I think it's ES37. Um, it's, ba it's the brightest blue they've got, basically. And that's just going to go in and slightly above the crease, just to where the top of the shadow is. sort of to there then we're going to add a highlight which is MAC Winter Sky I can find it for once um, that's just going to go on with any old big brush I sort of try not to blend too much the top of the blue just sort of take out any really harsh lines okay then we're going to go underneath the eyes with corresponding colours. I'm going to take our eyeliner brush, which is that one there. And we're going to use the green, the um, unnamed green, on the first half and then the blue on the second half. So I've been having a think about other videos to do. And I'm actually going to use <coughs> my friend Elisa a couple of times. Um, she has beautiful eyes and there's a lot of looks which I want to do which they wouldn't look as good on me like I want to show you guys how to do the um like Vanessa Hudgens um makeup and also um Nicole from the Pussycat Dolls and yeah so she's got like these really lovely eyes which I could really play around with so I'm going to hopefully do videos on her after exams 
because at the moment we've got exams going on. Um, so it may take a while, but they will come up at some point, I promise. Okay, so that's the blue. I'm just going to take away harsh lines that I don't have a cotton bud on me at the moment, so I'll just use my finger. And just get rid of any fall down with a powder brush. <coughs> right, on to liner. I'm using Dominatrix Gel Eyeliner by Sleek. That's going to go on the top in quite a thick line, as you can see there. I tried it thin and it didn't look as good, so I went for thick. And you could use a liquid liner if you wanted. I just really like gel eyeliner. But yeah, so as I was saying about looks and stuff, um, so I've got that one, or a couple that I'm planning to do with Elisa. Um, there's also one with my friend Ella. Um, there's a lot of them I want to try out on other eyes, because I think, like, it'd be better if you didn't just have to look at my ugly mug every time I did these. Um, then we're going to go for a waterline eyeliner. Um, there it is. <coughs> we're using Zero by Urban Decay. That's just going to go along the waterline. There we go. And I'm just going to put some mascara on. I'm using Bad Gal Lash by Benefit. Okay, then for the lips, I'm having a look at what's available. Uh -huh. We're going to use a bright pink. Um, because I thought it would kind of balance with the blue and I'm using one by Tarte which I'm not sure if you can get in the UK if not any bright pink lip gloss will do so it's my double ended <coughs> lip gloss that I raved a bit about in my lippy review so that's just going to go all the way over there we go and some blush as well. I want some bright pink blush too. You could tone it down and use something like MAC Pink Swoon. But I want to use my NARS, which I can't. There it is. Um, which is this one here, and it's in Desire. Because I really feel like being electric today. I don't know why. There we go. Um, the only thing else I'd do is I'd put a couple more coats on the mascara um, but you don't really need to watch me doing that um, and yeah, Poodle says goodbye <laughs>